This is it, Clegg. Time to be released. Just be here. Don't want to see you back here again. Try my best, Mr. Barrett. Good luck, Terry. Cheers, Jack. Look after you, Sam. Hey, Sharon, love. Who is it, love? Got a surprise for you, then. Hey, Dennis. Bloody hell, when did you get out? Why didn't you give us a ring? How are we keeping? I'm all right, mate. When did you get out of? I got out this morning, but I didn't want to tell him. I wanted to be surprised, you know. Anyway. You've certainly done that, our kid. I need to get me a sword and all that. See, you're looking well. Cheers, thank you. It's great to have you home. Cheers, buddy. Fancy a pint? Yeah, go on. Get your son off. Oh, thanks, love. Okay, come on, that's one of them. Good, Ruth. Great to have you back, our kid. Great to be back. So you've got a little business yourself now, eh? Proper little business, man. Yeah, it's doing all right. I'll admit so. Can't thank you enough, though. You know, doing that time for me. I don't want to say I could. You don't have to say out, bruv. Family. Couldn't see you go down for that, no bit. And you've got a family to think about anyway, haven't you? No problem. Hey, hey Dennis. Right, I'm round at two o'clock for that car, yeah? Better make sure it's ready, pal. Who's that, no bit? Nah, he's just a customer. Don't worry about it. Somehow works out, that's all. Anyway, cheers, bruv. Let's get them sucked and get back here. Eh? We're back, love. Tea's ready, and I've made the spare bed up for you, Terry. Oh, thanks, love. Is it all right for stay? Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, okay. More than welcome. I'm just going to get my head down. I feel a bit. You know, yeah, no worries, Alfred. All right, cheers. Thanks. Take your head down and go, kid. It's nice right. to have you home, kid. Cheers. We have missed you. See thanks. You Night. Night. Give us a shout if you need out, yeah? Great to have you home, you know. You're in big style. Yeah, I don't have to look after him. You don't mind, do you? No, me? not at all. Oh, thanks, love. Come on, your tea's ready. Thanks, love. You alright, girls? Yeah. Is tea nice? Yeah. I hope it's ready, mate. Yeah, it is, but it's the last one I'm doing. I've done my other odds already. Just give me keys. Yeah, that guy Dennis, because he's not doing it no more. Does he now? No. See about that. Now, Jimmy tells me you don't want to do any more jobs for me. See, it'd be a pity if that wife and kids would ask him to any harm now, wouldn't it? Don't you fill my fucking gap! So you work for me. I'll 
tell you when you're finished. You just sit there like a good boy. We'll go get details of your next job. I'll think about it when you come back. Dennis! You alright, bruv? What happened? Oh, no, our uh, kid, just leave it. Leave it. I mean, no. Something's happened, tell me. Look, I borrowed a few quid to start this business up in the house. This bank wasn't going to lend me any money. Went to a bit of a side street loan. I can't believe he did that. I know, but, you know, it's been going really well. And, you know, it was doing well. Apart from, you know, a man got ill. What was I supposed to do? I had to cut my hours down a bit. Missed the payment. So I agreed to ring a few cars for him. I've done six already. Yeah. And I only agreed to do a couple. So I've told him I'm not doing no more. You know, he turned up, got a bit heavy. Right, let's go and get him in. No, no, he's coming back in an hour just... Just leave it for now, we'll, we'll sort some out. But it's threatened our lass, my man, kids. You say they're coming back? Yeah, in about an hour. Right, well, we'll wait here and we'll get one to get back. Alright? Yeah. Missed you, bro. Dennis! Dennis! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all sorted. He's inside sorting it out now. Yeah, yeah, it'll be ready in a couple of days. Alright. Alright, no worries. Speak to you soon. Cheers. I hope it's all sorted now. It is now. Who the fuck are you? I'm Dennis's brother. <laughs> Don't you ever threaten my family again. Ever! I'll tell you what's going to happen, mate. You're going to drive off and you're not coming back ever again. Alright? <laughs> now piss off. You want to get a plaster on there? Oh. You owe me a brew now. I could do something a bit stronger, I could. Maybe you should give us a job. Yeah, I need some bit of sweep up. Just a few sarnies. Make sure you clean it before you use it. Hello. All right, all right, I'm coming. Calm down, bruv. Yeah, I'll be down in five minutes. Keep your ear on. Dennis! Oh, where is he? Dennis, where are you? I'm down at garage. Gears are in when you get this, bruv. Alright, cheers, mate. Bye. Hello? Terry. Have you lost something? You what? I've got something of yours. Or should I say, someone? You fucking bastard. Wait till I... Terry! There's no need to be like that. You want to see him again? I need ten grand. Don't tell anyone. No cops. No one. Alright. Yeah. I've been touched to tell you where to drop the cash later.
Vinny, it's Terry. I've got a bit of a problem. I need a gun and ten grand. Well, that sounds like a pretty big problem. Alright, look, meet me at the club in an hour. I'll source it. Moxie. What? My gun, isn't it? Put it back. <coughs> Buy me a drink first. He's clean. What's this? A reunion for G4? Week? Fuck off, Terry. <laughs> Terry, let's go over here, shall we? Oz, keep an eye on Moxie. I'm watching since Sam. Okay, boss. We got it. What do you need it for? Family problems. Rocky, ten grand. Yes, boss. Terry, have you got the money? Yeah, I've got it. I want you to drop it off at Woodhouse Park.
Thanks for the money. Where is he, you fucking bastard? He's in the old Crosby house. This ring, then he says, Car. And what am I supposed to do with that? Look, just get down to the rig's garage, pick up that ring bolts. No worries. Right, we found the body. 34 year old male, from shot one to the back of the head. He was found out at the old Crosby house. So uh, we better go check it out. I've only had a chance to get one of them done. One? I'm going to be Whoa, I need to make a fucking phone call. Jimmy, how's it going? Swat's only done one. Tell me what the other two done by tonight. Okay, boss. Please, sir. We need them both by tonight. Can't do it. I'm going out with my wife tonight. It's our wedding anniversary. Well, your fucking plans have just changed, haven't they? Oh, I'll have them ready for you. Just stay away from my family. Oh. Both of them to fucking night. Come on, girls, let's get your coats on. Are we going for Dad's birthday? Yes. So this is where we found him, but there's DNA evidence to say that Terry Clegg's been here as well, so we need to go find him. We know his brother doesn't live far away, so we better go see what he's been doing. Happy birthday, bro. Sorry. Come on, girls. Should we make some hot chocolate? That was always Doug's favourite. Can yes. we have some marshmallows? Yes, that sounds good. No, I ain't seen him. Well, he's not here, and no one's seen him since it happened. Right. We know his brother lives two streets away. 
Okay, well, let's go pay his brother a visit and see what he has to say. Sharon Clegg? Yes? I'm DC Williams, this is DC Rowe. Are we okay to come in? Uh, yes, yes. Have you found him yet? Do you know the whereabouts of your brother-in-law, Terry Clegg? What? Well, we've been round to his flat, no one's seen him. And we need to speak to him, it's urgent. Is this a joke? Mrs Clegg, we do not joke. This is a very serious situation. Do you know where Terry Clegg is? Get out! Get out! Get out now! Oh, fuck you! Terry, I got you, you bastard! Oh, You bastard! You killed Vinny! It fucking want me! Don't you think I could just fucking kill you now if it were me? Okay, if it wasn't you, who the fuck was it then? Well, let's go and find out, shall we? Big lads, Jimmy. He's his second in command. And little one, that's Big John, and he's a right sick bastard. Come on, let's go and get her. Wait, Terry. Wait a second. Let's get the lads together and do a proper job. All right, then, mate. The fuck's he doing here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put the guns down. He killed Vinny. It wasn't him. What do you mean it wasn't him? It fucking was. You gotta trust me on this one, lads. Where's Moxie? We haven't seen him, he's been acting strange since Vinny died. We haven't seen him all week. No one's seen him all week. Well, let's go fucking sort this out now. It's payback time. Let's go get them cars. I hope for his sake he's done. It would have been great to start his fucking missus out though. <laughs> <laughs> we need a vet, because you're one sick fucking puppy. This shit's getting fucking boring. You're talking about fucking shit. As soon as I saw you, I knew it was you. You smelled. Oh, well, you fought fucking wrong, didn't you? Oh. Oh. seconds.
Terry. Fuck you, Terry. He's dead. Girls. <laughs> 